this week we're gonna go ahead and do smoked chicken thighs on the pellet smoker. Really good smoky flavor, but I'm gonna show you a little trick at the end to get that skin good and crisp. You guys are gonna love them. Let's get out there cooking. So for these chicken thighs, we're gonna start by lighting the grill up and we wanna keep it in its smoke setting between 180 and 200 degrees. So with the Pit Boss uh, Pro Series grill, if you go to the smoke setting, it's at about 180. So I'm just gonna leave it on its smoke setting. We'll get it kicked on and we'll see what temperature we get up to. Um, Again, the, pretty easy. You hit the power button, the blue LED comes on, you turn the dial one time and you're in the smoke uh, setting. We'll just go ahead and let this go. The next thing to do is go ahead and get your chicken thighs. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about chicken thighs for a moment. If you go to the store and you look for chicken thighs, if you can find ones that are air chilled versus water chilled, uh, they usually won't say when they're water chilled. They will say if they're air chilled. Essentially, as they as they process the chicken, a lot of places will sort of toss the chicken into ice baths to quickly bring the uh, the 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 temperature down on them. If you get the air chilled ones, it retains a lot more of the flavor. Uh, it's not that much more expensive. You know, I'd be paid about 40 cents more a pound for these than I did the other ones. Uh, you'll usually find them in the organic section, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, and if you look for things like, um, you know, uh, antibiotic free and, uh, you know, things like that, most of that's sort of marketing gimmicks. Um, if you see cage free, that means nothing either. Um, the requirements around calling something cage free is pretty minimal. But, that's what we have here. You'll notice the skin's actually a little bit more yellowish than the, than the, the water chilled ones again, because it retains some of that color and flavor from the fat. So we've got some uh, boneless chicken thighs here. Let's go ahead and just pull these out and put them right here on our tray. And we're just gonna liberally cover these with the seasoning. Now I'm using a spoon here, mainly just because I don't wanna dip my hand into this um, while I'm touching the, the chicken thighs. Once we have it on there, we're just gonna go ahead and rub it into the chicken itself. And you wanna sort of pat it on there. You want it to really stick into the skin and whatnot here. And then I have nothing, no problem with sort of mopping up what's on the what's on the tray that fell off of there as you did it, especially if there's a spot that's a little bit light like that one was. Uh, get the sides, you need good, good flavor that way too. I lied, these are not actually boneless. Uh, I'm not in a competition or anything, so I'm not worried about trimming these things exactly the way somebody might if they were trying to present it on a plate for a judge. Um, I just want them to taste really good as we eat them, so. Okay, we've got them skin side up. Let me go ahead and wash my hands and we'll get these on the smoker. So when the grill first starts up, think of any other fire that starts to smolder. It, it smokes a lot in the very beginning. You can hear it. I can hear it's uh, the flames starting to kick on. And if I open this up, I can now see flames. And you'll notice the smoke will dissipate at this stage. Perfectly normal. Don't worry about the really heavy smoke that starts at the beginning. As a matter of fact, you'll even notice it's a little bit more white and smoldery, um, but it quickly goes away and, and turns into the smoke you would expect to have. By the way, for these chicken thighs, we're gonna be using a hardwood competition blend. It's um, maple, hickory, and um, cherry wood. So the pit boss is running a little warm right now. It's sitting at about 240, and I want it to be somewhere between 180 and 200. I think that's gonna be fine as I open this up, it's gonna let more out of it. And when I look up here, it's showing about 220. So I think if I'm in the, um, in the box itself, it's gonna be fluctuating a little bit based on what we have feeding in there. We wanna place these in just skin side up. And I'm leaving a little bit of a gap around them so the heat comes around them and the smoke really gets all around every side of them. you notice I'm spreading them out a little bit because I want the most smoke exposed to the meat and I'm not letting them touch each other so they have smoke going around all sides of it. Let's go ahead and get this closed up. So all we're really wanting to do is go ahead and get some smoke flavor imparted on these first. We're gonna come back later, we're gonna crank up the heat to truly bake them and cook them all the way through. You can smoke these for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. We'll probably let them go about an hour today, just given the timing of when we have some company coming over and we're gonna get some food ready. So that's the next step. Be back in about 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. We've been smoking these now for about 55 minutes or so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a temperature probe into one of the chicken thighs. We're gonna crank it up to 325 degrees. And we're gonna go ahead and just monitor this until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. And I'll let you know how long that takes. But please, by all means, don't do this based on timing. It's really important that you cook it to the right internal temperature. And outside temperature, humidity, where you happen to live all makes a big difference. You see I'm in shorts and t-shirt. It's probably 85 degrees here right now in, believe it or not, 
or not in February in Southern Florida. Um, but if you were doing the same thing in Minneapolis, you could very well take twice as long. So by all means, please make sure you use your internal temperature as your guide. I just went ahead and cranked this up to 325 degrees. And all we want to do is get this probe put right in the middle of one of these pretty good sized thighs. Feels like it's in a good spot right there. It's currently reading about 110 degrees in the center of that. We'll go ahead and cook this thing until it's uh, at 165 degrees internal temperature. Our internal temperature on these is about 180. It got a little bit warmer than I initially thought, but these things look really good. Not the smartest thing I've done today. So let me go ahead and get a pan and we'll get these pulled off of here. Those look good. They look good. A little piece broke off. I was going to say that was going to be my snack, but it dropped. So here's one of the things that's going to make these chicken thighs really crispy. They were good. I wouldn't say um, a crispy skin. It was a nice, good skin, even for a smoker. A lot of times a little bit rubbery, a little bit moist. But this is what crisps them up. So you want to use a cast iron skillet, or in this case, I'm using a heavy-duty sort of Dutch oven, which will work too. Um, you want probably just a... Um, quarter to a third of a cup of canola oil or, or uh, some kind of a deep frying oil in here. We're going to get that good and hot and we're just going to put the skin side down of those chicken thighs in there once it's good and hot for no more than about three minutes each side. That's all it's going to be. Boy, it's going to make it crisp up real nice. Be perfect. So I've got my oil going in here. Just flick a little tiny bit of water in it and you want to see if it starts sizzling and it is so it's definitely ready. Just to make this easier, I just stuck the chicken that I just took out right here. We're going to put these in skin side down, and the purpose here is just to crisp them up. Now it's just a matter of putting these right inside of the pot. Push it to the side and put the other two in there as well. You want to handle them a little bit carefully, otherwise you'll knock the skin off, and they sure look good from a presentation perspective there. So one of the things we do like about this Pit Boss Pro Series combo is it's got the pellet smoker on that side. You can either do pellet smoking or a pellet grill. You got the gas grill on this side, and then we have the side burner over here that we're able to use for this exactly what we just did here. You can do some side vegetables or even hot oil without that oil smell getting in the house. Again, I mentioned this before, we are not sponsored by this group at all. It's just that when I was looking for a pellet smoker, I really wanted one that was a pellet smoker and a gas grill, and there's not a whole lot of those out there. Cuisinart has one. Pit Boss makes one that they, now this one that's exclusively at Lowe's, they also have one um, called the KC Combo at Walmart. It's uh, about $100 more, and instead of a large gas grill on this side, it has a flat griddle and a much shallower top. Um, you know, you, there's always this thing about the grass is always greener. I don't know which one I like. I do like some of the features on that KC Combo. The fact that it has the griddle or the grates. The fact that it has the, um, the upgraded um, digital touch controller and the plugs for the probes plug in underneath so they're a little bit uh, protected from any rain. I really like those functions. However, it, um, it does not have the smoke chamber to allow you to let cold smoke into this particular side to do secondary smoking or lower temperature smoking. And it does doesn't have the side burner. So like anything, there's trade-offs for sure. But this is what we have, and so far we're really pleased with it. We've had a lot of good results, and we'll keep doing a few more videos as we learn more about this. We're only in about a month having it now, and, and clearly we'll learn more over time, and we'll do a review in three months, six months, maybe even a year, as far as how everything holds up. Do we still Are we still just as happy as we were? And are we finding ourselves using this a lot more than the gas grill that's now sitting back here behind us? Um, the thought was this could replace everything, and I think so far it has. Let's go ahead and give these, uh, these chicken thighs a good old taste. All right, so let's just give this a cut and see how it tastes. Looks real nice. Cooked all the way through. Good and juicy, moist. Give it a shot. All right, I've got my taste tester here with me. So let's give it a shot. Got the one you're going to have? Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> 
Yeah. What do you think? Just yes? You got a mouthful? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, I like it. I like the flavor. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. You can't really taste the cayenne, but it's got a little bit of that um, brown sugar sweetness crust on it. That part's really good. It'll certainly be messy on your fingers. So I think next time I do this, I'll probably do it with boneless thighs so I can just cut them up with a fork and knife. Uh, you saw me cut a slice of this one. However, uh, I'm only gonna be able to do that with so much of it before I hit the bone, but yeah, good stuff. Good, isn't it? Really Don't you dare pull that whole skin off and eat it. <laughs> she was about to take all the skin for herself, that turkey bird. Uh, she just did. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So all in all, the taste test has gone well. It's about gone. <laughs> Deb definitely got all the skin, but this is a good recipe. I would certainly encourage you to give it a try. Um, adjust the seasonings and the rubs the way you like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you? I loved it. All right. All right. Uh, I loved what he made. You did, huh? As I mentioned in one of the other grilling videos, my wife and I actually do videos about living aboard and sailing on our, our 51 foot classic sailboat. We moved into a house recently. We're getting ready to sail the boat back across the Gulf of Mexico here in about another month. So in the meantime, I'm enjoying having a big real grill compared to that little tiny thing we had on the back stern rail of the boat all those years living aboard. So this has been kind of fun. Hope you guys don't mind this non-boat related stuff for a little while, but as soon as we get the boat here, we'll be back to doing that and probably peppering in these grilling videos because I have a feeling we're gonna be grilling quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed this week's video all about how to make these really, really good crispy skin smoked chicken thighs on the Pit Boss Pro Series uh, Combo Smoker. If you enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I'll put a little link right up here to our Pit Boss Pro Series uh, playlist so you can watch other videos, everything from the initial purchase and setup and burn in to a bunch of different recipes we've tried and we're doing one of these almost every week. We're having a blast with it. Our channel is primarily focused from many years now all about our liveaboard and cruising lifestyle aboard our classic sailboat. If that's the kind of stuff you find interesting, right as this video ends, I'll put a couple of playlists in here for our complete refit and some of our sailing trips. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, go ahead and give it a subscribe and give it a thumbs up. You know, like the video. It sort of tells you YouTube that this video is worth it and it's worth it and it can recommend it to other viewers. Thanks everybody. See ya.